Championships of Autistic Gymnastics in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And the first of the two apparatus being contended in the women's competition today, the vault there on your screens, Yelena Piskin, world champion a year ago in 1993, defending her title, just 16 years of age, 10th in the all-around competition. Piskin, her vault, looking for her second successive world championship gold. First vault, two to count. Yurchenko, double twist. And this really is a battle of the giants because in competition three, the gymnasts have to produce two vaults. And therefore, we're looking for really versatile performers. And each vault counts because both the scores are averaged. Here, the entry, the Arab Spring, half a somersault on and double twisting one and a half to finish hesitant on the landing but a full value of 10 tariff and Yelena Piskun will have to see off challenges from the all-around gold and silver medalist Shannon Miller of the United States of America and Lavinia Malisevic from Romania so this another very closely contended final it's the individual apparatus as gold, silver and bronze second vault for the defending world champion as she will have her scores added together and then averaged and the announcer there indicating that the men's competition warm-up their second apparatus the pommel horse the warm-up has now come to an end 9.775 now that's a very good score indeed for Yelena Puskin and for my money, she's one of the better vaulters in the world. Powerful, very, very powerful legs. We're going to see a lot of her in the future. And I think that uh, Miller will be hard pushed to overhaul Pishkun in this final. Miller having had to work very hard since Barcelona on her second vault. Not a regular visitor to the finals on vault, Miller. Very light body weight. And of course, a heavier body weight helps them to get a greater reaction out of that springboard. And a good second vault, not a 10 tariff. That's a 9-9, so the maximum score available. A handspring one and a half front, piked with the half twist, but very solid. And she's a master of both vaults. And it's difficult. Two different run-ups required because one has an Arab spring entry and the other just a straight run and two-footed takeoff. Could have hit at a better angle to get a higher and longer flight off as she struck the horse. Split feet on the landing, but still good flight. Not amazing extension, but good extension throughout. 9.762 was the score that gave Yelena gold a year ago in Birmingham in the United Kingdom. And she's on target to better that. Well, the pommel horse preparations are just being finalized by the Romanian team coach as Marius Urzica, the junior European champion a year ago. Well, I'm sure he's just witnessed the European junior champion in the floor, Yarnis Melissanadis, claim a silver medal and has possibly inspired and motivated Urzica to try and produce something special. 9.600, his score in the all-around competition, where he came in 37th, and if he can find that scoring again, he certainly will be within a chance of claiming a medal in this individual apparatus final. And there, the extremely difficult skills. Look at the time he's spending on one pommel in spindle. That's rotating with the whole body while through rotating only one circle once again on the other pommel and there the travel into the scissors section of the exercise the requirements insist they have to have difficulties on each end of the apparatus and very solid and he'll be 
in the medals unless somebody does an awful lot better because that was a very difficult opening to that exercise. Well, another European junior champion makes a superb entry into the senior ranks. And Jurzika, well, possibly showing us that the European juniors is a form guy that we should possibly watch a little more closely than we have in years gone by. Very rhythmic and flowing on the dismount, no stops. Now, the women's vault competition, we return to the defending champion, Jelena Piskin, who awaits her average of the two vaults. Ilya Podkopayeva, oh, disaster. And Podkopayeva missed the top of the apparatus, her connection, very poor, and that is such a shame. Brilliant vaulter, but let's watch what happened. She really did miss her plant with her hands on the top. Just touched, if she hadn't actually connected with the horse at all, it would have been a zero score. But the intention of the vault there, in fact, I don't know whether she did touch the apparatus. She went beyond it, but if she at least managed to get a finger to the horse, she'll get a score. If not, it'll be a zero score. Yes, yeah, she slipped two hands right off the top, and fortunately for her, she had so much cross speed, she didn't come a cropper. This is why cross speed is so important. She was committed, otherwise she could have really hurt herself. Well, she really does need to focus, dig in deep now, find something special to maintain the concentration. She knows that her chances of finishing within the medals are over. And this now, well, will be for her pride more than anything else. Yes, and remember, it's the fault of the gymnast, not the horse. She didn't slip because the horse is slippery. She did it. She slipped because she didn't hit the horse at the correct angle, which means her takeoff was incorrect. So she altered what she normally produces in training. And such a pity because we can see from the quality of that second vault that Pod Kopieva was definitely a contender for a medal. The handspring one and a half front piked, and she will be angry with herself. Perhaps she'd have been better to do this vault first and just get her nerves out of her system. And it's the nerves that got the better of young Lilia Podkopayeva a year ago when a similar problem put her down in eighth position in Birmingham. First position. The pace is set by the defending champion at 9.712. And also in the men's pommel horse competition, the European junior champion, 9.712. And as our expert pointed out, that really is going to take some beating. As Igor Korobchinsky from the Ukraine, three times world champion, and also European champion, once again, finds himself battling it out with a young 18-year-old. And the 18-year-old <laughs> overhauled Korobczynski on difficulty at the beginning of the exercise. Judges looking for travels sideways and forwards, backwards, using both pommels, traveling from horse to pommel. They're into the flares section, but no. That doesn't match Ozika. Azika with a brilliant score. Korobczynski pleased with himself, but not the same level of difficulty. But lifting well above the pommels with his hips. Nice high scissors section. The scissors section was, in actual fact, a little better. They're lifting up nice straight arms and not staying in the handstand, of course, because that's not permitted. At one time, the gymnasts were not allowed to lift their hips above shoulder height. Piskun score 9.725. But the judges have left them room for maneuverability. And in her only final, Tatiana Lysenko. 18-year-old from the Ukraine and managing much better on that vault than she did in the all-around event. 
where she dropped right down. Closer look at the vault, a little bit under twisted. The Arab Spring entry, the flick flack, and the double twist. Similar fault to Piscoon, but I think it was a little bit more apparent. In Lyshenko, she traveled over to the right hand side of the apparatus. And Tatiana, 9.800, is on target to take the lead away. <coughs> and quite obviously, there, a higher vault. As I have said so often, very, very difficult to actually judge the height from the apparatus. With the men's a little bit more easy to identify because of the markings on the mat, but Lysenko must have had a better flight from the horse. But not such a good second vault. The same one handspring front one and a half piked. Pod Kopieva out of the medals. And in third position down in the 9.4s. But Lysenko, that should be good enough to possibly bring her joint first. Be very close because the second vault wasn't so good. In fact, it was bad. The landing was bad. I think Piscoon could take the lead on the merits of her first vault. Tatiana Lysenko, a bronze medalist in the Barcelona Olympics of 1992. And it really has been a world championships of disappointment for Tatiana. 9.725, the defending world champion still in first position. Otka Baeva taking a tumble. 9.737, and Lysenko takes the lead, but she disappointed with that second score. Zika leads as the French challenger Eric Pujard 9687 in the all around competition but he needs to score above 97 to keep France within the chance of a medal Pujard a very stylish pommel worker chosen to do his flair section first but look at that in the second half of the routine beautiful spindles on one pommel Pujard will certainly get into the medals with this routine. Oh, beautiful exercise, and I think that's good enough to overhaul Uzika, and if not, come very close. Well, the 20-year-old from Aix-en-Provence, coached by Jean-Louis Bourbon, really those long legs of the Frenchman adding to the visual appeal of that routine. A view of the strain that this exercise takes on the wrists. The men have to have extremely strong and supple wrists. You imagine maintaining your body weight on the wrists for that long. And look at the French coach there, so eager to see the score of Pujard. We return to the women's vault for Romania, Gina Gogian. And Deva, just 16 years of age. Second in the European Championships. Again, no stranger to world-class competition. And that was aesthetically a beautiful vault. A little jump forward, but very, very nimble. Notice the speed that she travelled between the Arab Spring, the flight onto the horse, and the extension off. No stranger to world-class finals. One and a half twisting Yurchenko, not as difficult as the two vaults that we have seen, but in the same tariff category. A 10 tariff. And on the vault, unless there is something astoundingly differentiating the two gymnasts, quite difficult on uh, the monitor, 
to decide the better of the two. Obviously, there, Gojin going into the lead on that first vault, 9-8-1-2. It was fourth position a year ago, and she's on target to up that by three places, but of course, she needs to have a second vault, the same quality and score of the first. If she's to take the lead away from Tatiana Lysenko of the Ukraine, 9.737 her target. And I think she'll do it on that. That's the handspring. One and a half with a half twist. Very, very nimble. And uh, the vault all about dynamics. And dynamically, both vaults were excellent. So I think Pescoon in third place. Nisenko second. And I would think Gojian will leap into first place. Well, she was bitterly disappointed to only claim a fourth position in the all-around competition. Back to the men's pommel horse, Eric Poujard, 9.700. France coming close, so close to their first gold, but goes into silver medal position. Poujard as Lee Donghua of Switzerland. Five years out of competition through the change of his nationality, married to a Swiss national. 1987 Chinese champion making a welcomed return to the senior ranks of world competition. And this beautiful pace of work is going like a train, and he has to because obviously Azika's first routine and his single pummel work really did impress the judges. Magyar travel. Good scissors, though. And what a close competition this is going to be. I thought Poujard might have impressed them with his leggy actions in the Thomas Flares. And the second half of uh, Poujard's work being uh, difficult on one pommel. But no, they weren't swayed. Ozika in number one. Pujard in number two, and will that be good enough to overhaul? Well, you couldn't wish it upon a nicer man who's waited so long for his chance to compete. Gina Gojian, well, she's been outside the medals throughout the competition. So far, goes into first position in the women's vault, 9.812. All no smiles, but, well, it's all celebrations in the Swiss camp. Lee Donghua needs to score above 9.712. He's just so happy to be back competing again now under the Swiss flag. The sad news is the world and Olympic champion Pai Gil Su of the People's Republic of Korea due to political reasons has chosen not to compete with the South Koreans competing here. Well, the American judge seems to like it. But the question is, will the judges place Lee above Urzika of Romania, the European junior champion, 9.712. There's Valeri Belenki. He's next up on the men's pommel, but he will not start until the score has been awarded to Lee Donghua. And 9.662. He cannot overhaul the Romanian, and Switzerland go into third position. Now Belenki, another performer who has changed his nationality, formerly of Baku in Azerbaijan, now competing under the German flag. 26-year-old, fourth in the all-around competition where he scored 9.6 on this apparatus. Again, he'll need something special to get the better of the young Romanian. But that a wonderful travel and difficult work on the end of the apparatus there. Belenki, looking as though he's got both of his legs down, one trouser absolutely glued together like a couple of broomsticks. And this is really what the judges want. But Belenki knows exactly what he's got to do. And only hundreds of a mark dividing the top performers so far, but that was a bad exit. Right up until then it was good, but the exit, he tipped over in the handstand, lost his back tension. And he knows, but the, the beginning was superb, absolutely superb work. There, a bird's eye view of the work on one pommel. 
and the transfer from the scissors into the flares section and obviously out of control in that handstand. Well, congratulating Lee there as Dina Kochetkova for Russia. A new name, a youngster who really has impressed in the qualification and the all-around competition. And Dina never featured in a big final yet. Beautiful, Yurchenko with a full twist. Well, a 14-year-old showing no signs of nerves there at all. Only 9.9 .9 tariff this, though. She's a tenth down on degree of difficulty. But if you can stick a landing on a vault that is a tenth lower, then that doesn't matter. But she did have a jump back, so we can't see her unless the flight was something extremely special overhauling the leaders. The leader, Gina Gosian of Romania, 9.812. The aggregate scoring over the two vaults. 9.662, she needs something very special indeed if Kochetkova for Russia is to place amongst the medals. Yasenko lying in silver for the Ukraine and the Belarusian defending champion already down into the bronze medal position with 9.725. I think Kochetkova knows that she's really not medal material yet. But stranger things have happened because all you need is three or four of the eight finalists to fall under pressure and a nice consistent p performance at two volts could easily squeeze her up into the bronze medal position, but not by her difficulty, by the others' errors. Second volt there, handspring, one and a half with the half twist. But unlike Gojian spending a little too long on the top of the apparatus, that's where Gojian was so superb. Well, at 14 years of age, we'll look forward to seeing Kochetkova in the World Championships in Japan, in Sabai, next year. And possibly coaches have the Atlanta Olympic Games as the target and goals for the youngster. Valeri Belenki awaits his scoring for his routine in the Pommel final. 9-7-2 to remind you, Urzika leads there. And 9-8-1-2 and 9-6-9-9. She goes into fourth position for Kochetkova. But we'll be seeing more of her in the asymmetric bar finals where she is in contention for a medal. And waiting patiently, Huang Huadong of China. So little to choose between these pommel workers hundredths of a mark divide the top so far judges must be accurate a suspected fourth nine six that cost him on the dismount well the competition continues and well in a fashion very similar to that of the floor the european junior champion still holds on to that top position huang Kuadong of china now needs to score above 9.712 if he's to take the lead away from Marius Urzika of Romania. And if he goes on like this, he will go into the lead. Lovely work. Oh yes, spindle in flares keep going he can't afford a mistake till the end double leg circles he needs a good build and a positive dismount that's where Belenki went sadly sadly wrong beautiful work oh he struggled that could have cost him exquisite until then but he needed the flow into the dismount that press up to handstand oh and he wipes the sweat off his forehead because that must have lifted his heart rate somewhat. But until there, he was on target to go into first place. And 
waiting there, having to push up and use his strength and not his swing. And that really is what will cost him. 15th position in the all-around competition. And, well, Huang only managed 9.525 there. Could have thrown that one away at the end. Back to the vault final. Svetlana Korkina of Russia also enjoyed a good run in the all-around competition. Ninth position. And nice to see a different vault executed. Korkina in the Junior European in 93 in Athens featured in the finals and came eighth, a very slender gymnast and one hardly could believe that she has such power. Watch this, the Arab spring on, then the half twist and then the Cuervo off. So like the Yurchenko in entry there, half twist on and half twist into the back somersault. and really needing accuracy there. She's got to be over the first half twist so her body is tight enough to lift her from the apparatus to produce the second half twist. Nine, eight, two, five, the highest vault so far, but she needs another one. This is all about the versatility on vault. One good one isn't any good. That a 10 tariff vault that she's produced. Can she produce another one? The Cuervo, 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, this could overhaul Gojian. She needs to score 9.812 or above to go into the gold medal position. Certainly a better performance from Korkina than we saw in her all around challenge yesterday where she only scored a 9.6 but opened her legs badly on the takeoff and split them in the air, but the vault was longer than Gojian's. So she's got one quality for her and a fault against her, still waiting for the score. 9.65, Huan Huadong plummeting down into fourth place alongside the Frenchman Pujard. Italy Maraninch. 23 year old another Ukrainian planning on joining the German gym league starting in September and superb work there from Marinich spindling around in the planche keeping those legs at horizontal the work on the deltoid muscles around the shoulder area immense and there the travel where he, the Magyar travel going from pommel onto the body of the horse itself. Marinich, the innovator of moves on the high bar. Good dismount too well. The first man since Azika to get it all together. No errors there from Marinich. Bags of difficulty at the beginning. Good dismount. Well distributed difficulty throughout the routine could the lead change well we'll have to wait and see now back over to the the vault Milosevic's name has just been announced I'm sure our producer will take us over there well Marinich will need to score 9.712. Korkina, 9.800. She goes into second position. She came close with that first vault, the highest score we've seen in the women's event. Now, Lavinia Milicevic, a silver medal yesterday in the all-around competition. She's looking for revenge on Shannon Miller and is challenging her teammate, Gina Gosian. And that a beautiful vault, wonderful lift. The new vault in the code, Tristakieva, and the innovator of the vault. I'll explain it in slow motion. Like the Yurchenko entry, it's the Arab spring, backhand spring, half turn, and front somersault. And that half turn has to be put in just the right place, or the tariff could drop down to 9.7. 
but overcooked and a big jump forwards. Very difficult to anchor a forward rotating vault, and that cost her 9787. She needs a huge second vault to take her into anywhere like a medal position. A former Olympic champion, or the Olympic champion of 92, a former world champion, I should say, and she will need to draw on all of those experiences if she's to challenge Gojian for a world championship gold. And really not getting it together. She's powerful. Milicevic is very, very powerful. She has the potential to take the world gold medal, but she's just not judging the distance from the apparatus and the lift. Really not judging her second flight very well. Not quite extending. And a big jump back. And even as she steps to present to the judges, she's still traveling backwards. And if they were really feeling hard, they could deduct up to four-tenths on that landing. I'm sure they won't, but it is within their power to because she didn't hold still a landing before presentation. 9.662 for Vitaly Marinic. Third position, so the European Junior Champion, just 18 years of age, Marius Urzika, the first starter of this eight-man final, still holds on to that gold medal position with the eighth and final challenger, Mark Sohn, from the United States of America, 24-year-old from Allington Heights in Illinois, coached by Carl Schreyer, specialist in this, and he really will need something special if America are to steal the gold from Romania. And only the third time since 1974 that we have a Hungarian missing from the final. Usually the Hungarians, it's been Sholony, Supula, Zoltan Magyar, great innovators of so many skills. But not a Hungarian. Oh, and a very nice dismount there. Some good travel work. Traveling from one end of the body of the horse over the two pommels to the end. Missing out the two pommels, traveling from the neck to the croup on the horse. There, the flank and the pike up to the handstand. Very creative work, but will it be good enough? 9712 for gold, 9700. Lena Milicevic, 9787. The Olympic champion finds herself in the bronze medal position as the all around champion, gold medalist from yesterday, now goes in search of individual and gold number two. And this will give something for Miller to bite at. A better landing, same vault. Exactly the same vault, 10 tariff, the half twist before the front somersault in the one and a half rotations from the top of the horse. Good shape, she nearly had it judged right. She just needed to open her hips as she was coming into the floor. Miller, not nearly the power that Milicevic has got, but putting in a much tidier vault there, more controlled. But we're not truly to the side, and it depends how harsh the judges decide to be on the shape of that vault. It is straight, and she did close her hip angle because she was under-rotating. Miller, who so often mentally rehearses the vault in her preparation. 9.825 on target. But it's the two volts average that gives a score. And 9.812 is the best average of the two for Romania's Gina Gojian. Shannon Miller of the United States of America, just 17 years of age from Edmond in Oklahoma, needs... Another 9.8 to claim her second gold of the championships. And that's her out. 
not only uh, out of third place, but, well, totally out of the medals, right down, probably in eighth place. It just depends on how Podkopayeva score came out. Podkopayeva, I believe, down 9-4-2-4, and uh, Shannon will be joining her. Well, that mistake seems to have allowed Gina Gojian, who was beginning to believe that she would never be able to claim a medal in these championships. She's been fourth so many times in world-class competition. She succeeded in the Europeans. Now, let's see who's claimed gold. Sixth position for the American, 9.625. Yet another European junior champion has claimed gold in the men's pommel. And we await the score of Shannon Miller from the USA, seventh spot, 9.543. Congratulations to Gina Gojian from Romania, a 16-year-old fourth in the all-around, but has jumped three places in the individual apparatus vault final to take yet another gold medal back home to Romania. Monica, it's a uh, world championships for the youngsters, one has to say. It certainly is. And both of the uh, junior European champions just did a splendid job. And congratulations to them. It shows what the world's gymnastics is in the future. Well, there is the youngster that we're referring to, Erzika. And it's worth going back to the floor exercise. If you've just joined us for this live broadcast, Britain's Neil Thomas has claimed his second World Championship silver medal. Congratulations to Poujard, keeping French gymnastics alive and motivated with that silver. And also to Li Dashuang, five years out of competition to change nationality, comes back in 94 to claim a bronze medal for Switzerland and in joint third position, Marinich of the Ukraine. And going back to the pummel result, Zika must have created some kind of a record for Romania. I'll have to look right back in my record books, but I cannot remember Romania getting a gold medal on the pommels and a double there for the Romanians. Gojian taking the gold on the vault and Zika on the pommels. Brilliant stuff there from them. Gorkina claiming silver medal for Russia, new name, and she'll be happy with that. Milicevic, well, I believe she'll be disappointed with that bronze medal. Well, we've seen now three gold medals decided. And three gold medals. One has gone to Vitaly Sherbo in a somewhat controversial decision on the men's floor. But we'll take a short commercial break and we'll be back with the asymmetric bars and ring finals from Brisbane in Australia. <laughs> 